Hey everyone, it's been a while since I've been online. Uh, had a lot going on. Uh, I finished up my three sessions of BCG and my parents came to visit. After my parents came to visit, I did a trip to BC and that it kind of made me do a lot of thinking about what I wanted to talk about. Uh, my friend Colin's been talking a lot about awareness and really promoting people getting checked. He's the guy with uh, colon cancer. And when I was actually doing some thinking over the last weekend where I went to a planning meeting about the cruise or the cause, more about that in a bit, I started thinking about awareness for my cancer. I spent 20 years as a military aviator. So going to the hospitals was something I did annually just so I was still allowed to fly. Most guys don't want to go to the hospital. Um, call it stubborn, call it, you know, trying to be macho, but uh, guys avoid the hospital. Makes sense, you know, especially as an aviator, because anytime you went there, the first words out of the mouth was, you're grounded. Now what's wrong? Uh, I thought I'd take a couple minutes and talk about bladder cancer and its symptoms. One of the key things that uh, happened with me is that my cancer was found through my aircrew medical. It was found through a urine reading that actually presented itself as a kidney problem. So it was something that not everyone would be subject to. But the big indicators for me after I started researching it, realizing that, okay, I might have bladder cancer, what does all this mean? <clears throat> One of the big indicators uh, for me when I started researching it, even though I w had showed no symptoms visually, what I did discover was I did have some symptoms, I just didn't recognize them. One of the big ones for guys is foamy urine. Figure that one out. So if you're going to the bathroom and you have an inch or two of foam in the bottom of the bowl, that might be a sign. It was a weird one for me that until I started, you know, I didn't recognize that, ooh, that's a lot of foam. Um, so, an awareness factor of when something's different is what people need to take note of. Did that, is that normal? And that's what Colin's talking about, and it's what I now talk about. Uh, I've talked to the doctor about getting checks for other things now. Uh, I don't look forward to them, but they are necessary because that way I'm being looked after. Being checked isn't a sign of weakness. It's a sign of precaution and it's not a bad thing. Do I recommend everybody run out to the doctor and say they want to be checked? No. What I'm saying is if something isn't normal, there's probably a reason. But on to the cruise with a cause. Some of you may have heard me talk about it in the past. Uh, it's something that I volunteered to help run. Uh, it's something I think is going to be really big this year. They have a component of what they do is all about awareness. Because so many things now in our internet fueled lifestyle, people just don't know about because it's not front and center. So the ability for someone to actually talk about different causes and bring awareness to them so that people know. The uh, young kids in Halifax, the Dalhousie Awareness of Bladder Cancer group, they even talk about it. It's awareness thing. People don't know. So if you don't know about something, how do you get the word out? Bladder cancer is like the fifth most common cancer in Canada. It rates 19th for research and funding because it's not something people are aware about. So awareness is to me something that's big in Canada now. It needs to be. People have to be aware of what's out there. I have a more common cancer that until I got told I had it, I knew nothing about it and didn't even know that was a type of cancer. So when people start talking about awareness, it takes a new meaning to me. It's kind of weird, but yes, it does. Oh, other things, uh, before I forget, uh, as for the weight loss thing, that's after a couple weeks, so I'm fairly happy with that. Um, it's a start, it's in the right direction. Uh, still doing my walks on the treadmill. 
at least uh, four times a week is my goal. I try to do two where I try to do a 5K, at get a better time, and then two that I just walk. But back to awareness and the cruise with a cause. It's coming soon. You're going to hear me talk about it more. Cruise with a cause, uh, www.cwac.ca, so it's just an acronym, or cruisewithacause.ca. What it is, it's a, some Canadian celebrities travel around by motorcycle and they use their celebrity to draw a crowd that will allow a cause to have their awareness. And if you can have an assembled group of people and your cause gets to talk to them, and right now, I think that's an awesome thing. More so recently, uh, especially after talking to Colin and others who it all comes down to awareness, cancer is becoming more common. The internet will give you a million reasons why cancer is becoming more common. doesn't matter the reason why it's becoming more common. It's just if you're aware of it and know to look for signs. And this, you don't have to look for specific signs. Look for something different. What has changed in your body? What has changed in what's coming out of your body? What has changed? When you start looking at the changes, maybe you need to talk to your doctor. So I even had some thoughts about uh, using... Uh, awareness and making that, you know, that my son off catchphrase, you know, make sure you check for foam in your urine, um, or something weird like that. That just seems weird, I know, but I'll come up with something over time. Uh, still working on that intro thing, found another couple websites on doing that. Still haven't signed up for those uh, courses, but they are on my list to do. It turns out when I was talking to my case managers and JPSU Edmonton, they didn't know about these free courses at at the Edmonton Public Library, so I've been able to increase people's awareness of what's available to them. Yeah, I like how that worked. <laughs> but other than that, you know, it's still winter in Edmonton. Got some pieces for my bike this week, and I'm looking forward to the snow melting. But all in all, uh, things are going good. Uh, and I've started losing weight, so all is good. Bye. mostly because the furnace just kicked in. So, I want to talk about awareness, I want to talk about the cruise of the cause.